So today we're out here on Parque Fernando for a red deer hunt, and I thought it would be fun just to change it up and go for them. It's a little bit early right now, it's only 5.07, but I thought we'd actually start down here and at least set up the tent that used to be there. Unfortunately, with the glitch that happens where the tents are being taken down when you kind of spawn in, that one went away and I didn't replace it, so we'll start with that, maybe we'll get a red deer on our way. And at the very least, we'll have that spawn location set for later in the hunt or any future hunts. Well, it's not a red deer, but a 206-247 to estimate axis deer. Definitely has a decent chance of being a diamond, and I'm not sure if that's the rack that makes it at level 4. But we'll kind of scoot in here a little bit, he should kind of notice us. And if we can, we'll go for that shot. Just go into attentive. Obviously it would have been ideal to actually drop him, but we did get into a lung. And fortunately we're close enough that he's definitely not going to run out of our render, and that is a part of our loadout today. We went ahead and grabbed the 303 because in our testing on Te Aoroa, it was taking Red Deer down super quickly, and I think that'll help us avoid the invisible animal bug by using such a powerful caliber, but the access deer happened to be pretty much exactly where I like to have the tent at this lake, so we'll go ahead and place that pretty much right where we shot it, and that is in fact Vital Blood, so we should be good. We'll see if we're actually starting with a diamond axis tier or not. I wish we had a little better lighting, because that's kind of cool having the sunrise coming in right behind it. Let's see what we have for this guy. 209, so kind of as expected, right at the bottom of the estimate. I'm not even sure if that is the right rack, but not a bad way to start with a good sized gold. And especially when we're coming down here to set up a tent, I mean, a big axis tier like that is pretty much just a huge bonus. So we had a bit of a unfortunately long walk up here for just one solo level 6 red deer, but that's been a lot of what we've seen on Parquet, so when we get opportunities at really any red deer stag, we're going to take it. Especially having the 303, because it should bring him down super quickly. And I actually did go out just before this hunt and pretty much take out as many red deer stags as I could, so hopefully there's going to be some respawns that are a little bigger than that guy, but I think at least, even though we have to go a little bit out of our way, he shouldn't have gotten far enough that he will turn invisible. And I don't mean to harp on that bug being a thing, but I want to kind of practice just paying attention to everything, any chance we get. Just so in the moment when a trophy animal shows up, it's not something we kind of forget about and end up kind of losing a trophy animal to it. So it's going to be a thing for a little while getting used to that. Now that is a better respawn. First one in the max weight estimate range. Still only up to 198, but we'll definitely go ahead and try to get him. And there's actually a smaller one walking to the right as well. I don't think he would have heard that. I'm actually not sure where he got to. The female's there. Well, I don't know where it went, but if we see the male on the way over, we'll definitely try to take him too. So he was kind of just hiding back in there. It's going to be a little bit of a tough shot, because he's right in between those two trees. But I think there's enough space. Hopefully to get into a lung and maybe even both at the rate he's going down. So we've got our level 7 here, and I still do wish this was actually a diamond rack. I just think it looks really cool, and I wish it was one that we were able to display more in the trophy lodge, but unless we would get a rare, but just because of the whole thing we have going on now, like diamonds or gold scoring rares are better, it's hard to end up placing that one in there. But then we just have our little level 5, and like I said before, trying to take pretty much any stag we can to get some good respawns, because I think we might do a little more red deer hunting than we have in the recent past. And this is already the third level 3 or lower that I've seen today, because we had two of those, as I said earlier, when we went out to uh, get some respawns, and I'm not sure how that's even a 3. It looks more like the level 2 that I shot, but let's get him. And fortunately we have a 10 over there so we can just fast travel and go and claim him super quick. Actually, a bit of a far shot, but he should stay in our render. And I think even fast traveling over here kind of confirms that. I think we would have been good either way, but just a 63 scoring level 3. Not the most impressive, but we gotta take those along with the others. But it is actually encouraging to see two of the first decks we go to that we actually hunted for respawns have level 7s, and this is one of those odd 7s where... It's even surprising they are a level 7, because I think there's a pretty good chance they end up as a silver. I know we did shoot a gold one fairly recently, but they definitely don't always make it. And so I am actually curious, and this guy actually is a gold. Two above, so I think it's actually bigger than the last one we shot that looked like this. But not too bad. Two golds pretty early on. 
so pretty much par for the course at this point. Just a little level 5 up here at this lake. And this is one that at some point I actually would like to get a diamond on because it's just a cool spot. I like it up here. Since we were able to drop that guy, we'll show it on the map. It's just this little lake in the northwest. We've had a couple of mythicals and some other pretty big sevens. I just think it would be a really cool potential screenshot if we could drop it and have like the antlers visible. It's just one of my favorite areas, like scenery wise, on the entire map. So hopefully anyway, one respawn at a time, we can eventually get a level 9 up here, but managed to actually heart and double lung that guy with the 303. It's definitely done quite well for us so far. I think we might have another level 7 like small rack back there. I cannot spot it, but there's also a little one facing us. Generally speaking, it's smart if you're trying to take two animals to go for the more difficult shot first. And maybe the hind will kind of step out of the way after we shoot once. We'll have to see what happens. We're actually going to go for this guy. We need to not shoot that one in the head, so maybe we'll go for neck instead. Then if we can... Pretty much had to go for a spinal cord. I think we are going to miss the lungs. But our other option was just try to hit it on the run, because that hind was not going anywhere. And I think that blood splatter confirms that. It definitely did not get into the vitals. And it was actually just a level 6, just 8 below gold. So not like we're missing out on much. And definitely we got the respawn and don't have to go and track. Then just another little level 6 beside him. Somehow we just continue to find really low level red deer. A level 4 there with a level 6. And just because it's so tiny, I think we'll try to take the 4 first. We might be able to get them both, but it's going to require a little bit of luck just how far over we swing the scope. Skip that guy. And then, yeah, I definitely could not locate the six in time. I think he might have been behind brush anyway. But we'll kind of let him go. Not really much opportunity to take both anyway. And I figure since we're just setting a trend of killing really tiny ones at this point, we might as well. It's almost impressive at this point just how consistently we're getting these, but still another under 100. I think I wanted to get down to one more spot. It's 10 after 9 already, so we're kind of pushing it. Maybe if we catch red deer in their late zones, we might see some here still. Ooh. That's not a red deer. Although, it's bigger than most of the red deer we've seen. And it's the first time that seeing level 5 today has actually been a good thing. I want to say that was actually a rack that we don't have a diamond of. I think it's the droopy main beams rack, and it did look to be even. From here it looks like it. Yeah, it definitely is, so I'm not sure if that one is guaranteed to make it, but as I talked about at the beginning of the video, we definitely don't want to be taking long shots where we don't know if the animals are going to go down out of render or not, so we'll scoot in a little bit closer, but that's actually pretty cool to see. I think because of where he is, we're probably going to try to go for the shot from here, because if we get too much closer he's going to be behind all that brush. And 200 meters should be fine, especially using the 303. And the quartering angle is kind of a good thing, because we might be able to just go ahead and get a heart shot in there. Just like that'll do the trick. And honestly, after a pretty slow red deer hunt, we finally have something quite special. And naturally he is just a couple of yards away from being out in the sun. But still a pretty cool looking deer. Not a whole lot to actually screenshot there, so let's see if he is going to make diamond. He is at 321, probably the lowest weight diamond mule deer we've shot since True Rex. Barely 200, but that's actually not too bad. It's a blonde fur type again, but a rack that we didn't have. And I think that leaves us with just one rack that we haven't killed a diamond of, and it's the one that's got like a couple of stickers on, I think it's that time. So we'll have to find a spot for that in the trophy lodge. And I was going to say, after going here, because we we're at the end of Red Deer Drink Time anyway, that we might as well go and look for Mule Deer and Black Buck. I'm not sure we'll top the Mule Deer, but we might as well see what we can do. It's a bit of a tough call here, because we've had good recent success now with Mule Deer and Black Buck, but I think with the availability of these smaller plaques in the Trophy Lodge, we're probably better off going for a Black Buck. And we can hope for a Diamond or Rare respawn from that. Even though we still have that one Diamond Mule Deer rack that I want to get, I just don't have the uh, faith that that's the one that's going to respawn. We're most likely to get something else. And there's not a ton of room in the lodge for them, whereas for the Black Buck, we have tons of ducks and stuff on the wall we could take down in favor of a Black Buck. And really, with them being the newest species to get True Rex, it's definitely fun to get a look at them again and get to see what they have to offer. 
That is one of the weirdest looking level 4 mule deer I've seen. I think I know what rack it is. It's the one, yeah, the one that I actually quite like, but I'm not as big a fan of it when it's narrow. I think what we'll do, just because of where it is and how long it takes to actually get over there, we'll try to drop him with a neck shot. Then hopefully, if there are any black buck down this way, which I don't see any, but I expect some to be there, there's at least a mule deer. Oh, actually, a pretty good one. We can either take that or a black buck, and then we can go around and hopefully get this guy too. So when he goes to drink, hopefully, we'll try to get a shot in straight through the neck. That's going to drop him there. We're definitely far enough out that that mule deer won't have heard that shot, and I'd like to look around for black buck, but even though I just talked about wanting black buck respawn, this is a decent opportunity to take out some better mule deer. And I actually don't see any black bucks, so... I don't know if a puma went through and spooked them or where they're at, but that gives us a pretty easy decision to go ahead and try to take this mule deer out. And that'll be three between the last three spots we've been at, at 175 to 210 kg. And of course one of those was actually a diamond, so maybe we have decent odds of getting another one to respawn out here. So we've got this guy down here, and he's scoring 248, and normally I would make a comment, by the way that's barely into the max weight range at 175.03 but normally I would make a comment about the other one probably being bigger but I actually don't know I forget the estimate and because the rack's so narrow I'm actually not sure what to expect so let's actually take a look here and see I mean that's super narrow for that rack he's still 260 we may should get him right in the middle neck there but I think this rack's normally more like 280 and we're just losing quite a lot to probably both the tip to tip and the overall spread Depends on what's actually counted, and both of them are, so I think that's probably about right. But it's interesting to see a little bit of that true rack's influence and what can happen with them. It still is a more than plausible rack for a mule deer, but just not one that we've ever seen. But anyway, I think on that note we are actually going to wrap up this hunt and go back to the trophy lodge. And I'm sure we'll have a tough decision on the way as to where to actually place that mule deer, but I definitely want to have like each rack displayed, assuming we can eventually get them all and at this point, we're on our way, but we'll go back and start figuring that out. And it was, as expected, a fairly tough decision, but as we're kind of here beside the Huddle Fallow and Huddle Whitetail Multimount, it's got me thinking that a Huddle Mule Deer Multimount just feels like a must because they are a species that travels in groups of bucks. And I think it would just work really well, especially with the variety with the Diamond Racks, but we took down an albino gold wildebeest, and maybe we'll end up putting that back up somewhere else. But I do like having the diamond mule deer right inside the lodge. Pretty much walking in and being able to look over and see that. I think that's quite cool. But anyway, a red deer hunt led to a pretty cool diamond mule deer. And maybe some of those respawns will get us something good for red deer in the future as well. So I think that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.